lack of budget have got talent in their football. But that doesn't matter because we won't be seeing any more of these moments where he punches it into his little net. He's gone. Headed out. Oh, I thought it was going out, but it needs Nordfeld yeah. to, to punch it clear. It's fired back in. It spins in the air and oh, it's going to creep. No, has it crept oh. in? Has it not crept? Free kick, left footed. And there's Nordfeld who's punched it backwards onto his own back. Yeah, Swans made his here back again. And some amazing transfer news has happened. Christopher Nordfeld has finally left Swansea City. Somebody will actually have a goalkeeper, a reserve goalkeeper, who can catch the ball. I don't care if people call me disrespectful. Oh, you're disrespecting Chris Nordfeld. He's been a good servant. I couldn't give a monkeys, to be honest with you. He has been absolutely awful for the Swans. He's had one or two good games against Man City and someone else. But apart from that, he has been absolutely dreadful. Let's hope he doesn't drop his passport on his way to Genesis Le Bilegia, wherever it's called. I couldn't care less, to be honest with you. But at the end of the day... He joined the Turkish team. Um, I'm not pronouncing it again because I've butchered it, but, um, you know, happy with that. And at the end of the day, we've actually got rid of him. Um, he, he came in, I think it was 2015 or 2016 season. Um, at the end of the day, he, he we all thought he was going to be like a good goalkeeper, but he was absolutely dreadful. He did have a very good game against Man City in the Cup uh, last season, but... I said to my mates, oh, you probably have a good game now because Man City don't hoof the ball in. And if you want to know how to pronounce that Turkish team, it is... So that's how you pronounce it. So um, he's he's had four appearances in the, this season, all in the cup. Uh, his last game for us was a 5-1 defeat to QPR, so he hasn't left on a good note. His contract was expiring in the summer anyway, so I think we're getting a little bit of money for him anyway, so that's always a positive. He is 30 years old now, so he's probably going to want to play football. He joined in 2015, like I said, from Hervanian, and will leave the Swans making 30 appearances, which is pretty poor, really. Um, I think the majority of Swans fans will be happy with this, just because he was really poor. He was, he was okay passing the ball with his feet, but he took a lot of risks. Um, he was very dodgy, couldn't really catch the ball. He was very small for a goalkeeper. And he's fallen down the peck in all the distance to sign on Freddie Woodman. Um, he has been second choice keeper this season ahead of Ewan Mulder. And hopefully this gives Ewan Mulder the chance to be second choice keeper. Obviously we're not in the cup. But if Freddie Woodman does unfortunately get injured or Newcastle decide to recall him, I would be more far more comfortable with Ewan Mulder than Christopher Nortfeld. Mulder's a bigger, bit taller. He's got better reactions. Uh, he's not the best. He's not better than uh, passing out the back, but I don't really care for goalkeeper does that. The goalkeeper's in the goals to save the save the shots, not the pass, in my opinion. At the end of the day, people say, "Oh, why why are they getting rid of him? His contract's up in the summer, so it's either you get rid of him now and get some sort of fee for him, or you let him go in the summer with, with, for nothing." So, we have made a loss, I'm guessing. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with this news. Just because, like I've said, and I'm going to reiterate it again, he was really, really, really poor. Like, so, some of the stuff I've seen, like, Black, if anyone remembers Blackburn away, he punched the ball into his own neck. QPR away, punched it onto the bar. He just always used to punch the ball instead of catching it. It was unbelievable. Like, Swans fans were getting so fed up with him, and that's one thing Potter, that's one thing Potter did wrong at the Swans, in my opinion. He didn't know his best choice keeper. He... Stuck with Northfield for a few games, and he bought Mulder in, then Northfield, then Mulder, so he had no consistency. And the way you and Mulder, oh, sorry, the way Christopher Northfield performed in that last season with Graham Potter, the last few games, oh my word, unbelievable. But thank God Christopher Northfield will never be seen in the Swansea shoot again. People can call me harsh, but that's my true opinion. Glad he's gone at the end of the day. Um, good luck to him, I guess. Good luck to their fans. They'll probably be on his back after he punches the ball into his own net. Uh, let's hope he doesn't. Um, drop his uh, contract now uh, we all know he likes to drop things but anyway make sure you like this video comment subscribe go and check out all my playlists where i've put the vlogs previews and stuff like that go and check out the cardiff vlog that's doing well and um there should be a new sign in another new sign in hopefully so hopefully you guys enjoyed like i said leave a like comment subscribe and we're free from the north felt hands